Fitzsimmons. Fitz. Simmons. I'm engineering. She's biochem. So, pretend it's an exam. We're taking an exam. An exam. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's... Oh. Huh. There's no vaccine for dengue fever. There would come a moment when we would regret the decision to go in the field. I didn't think that would happen in week one. Oh, but Dr. Fitzy needs to step in now. This is his area of expertise, not mine. Fitz. There's no shame in it, Fitz. It's perfectly natural to be afraid. No, the only thing I'm afraid of is putrid, decaying flesh, corrupting my pristine workspace. Do you remember the last time you brought a dead thing into the lab? Oh, not this stupid cat again. The and cat. it's our lab, Fitz, Tell him not about your the cat. lab. You left his liver next to my lunch. It's all right, everything's going to be fine. Please stop saying that. I see you looking at your watch. Hey, it's not the device. Don't, hey, don't put this on me. I was doing just fine tucked away in a safe indoor non-mobile lab at the academy. Then you had to go and drag us into this flying circus. Oh, please, as if I forced you to follow me anywhere. You said, and I quote, Oh, Fitz, it's the most perfect opportunity for us to see the world. We'd be fools to pass this one up. Pretty sure that every minute of every day you've been stuck in a lab right beside me. At the academy, at PSYOPs, this plane. You've been beside me the whole damn time. You can't be in here. It's too late. It's done. I don't know what you think you're doing. But... I'm doing what we always do. We're going to fix this. Together. I'm so sorry. Ah! <laughs> Searching for a cure. It wasn't Ward giving me hope when I had none. It was you. You're the hero. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. The Caucasus have a plethora of highly endemic spider species. Gemma, stop. Stop worrying about me. I can do this. Well, you'll be careful. Your favourite sandwich. Prosciutto and buffalo mozzarella. With your homemade pesto aioli? Just didn't. <laughs> oh, the sandwich, how was it? Too much aioli? It was delicious. I had Ward's back the whole time. <laughs> um, anything exciting happened at the hub? I shot a superior officer in the chest. <laughs> when Sally Weber made the books fall off the table in neurobiology. Ah, oh, well, that was a particularly cruel prank. <sighs> you screamed like a girl. I am a girl. You do know we have equipment that can take measurements, no need to do it manually. It would be a shame, especially yeah. when you're so well yeah. formed and symmetrical. <laughs> when did you stop talking? About three embarrassing sentences ago. Yes. <laughs> She's okay. <laughs> Brilliant deduction, Dr. Watson. I've always pictured you as Watson. Either way, if you're gonna do this, you're gonna need my help. At some point, one way or another, eventually. At least we still have each other. Yeah. Good. Because the last thing I want is for things to change. Fitz. It's too late for that. It's not something you want to tell her. Don't wait. Agent Triplett thinks he's done something to upset you. Fitz, if you're questioning his loyalty in any way, I can assure you... It's not him. What is it, then? You know how I can be. I hate change. Tell me that you're not Hydra. What? I know that it's ridiculous, but I just need to hear you say it. I'm not Hydra. Yeah, good. Good to get an because I'm not either. Of course not. Yeah. Because if, if you ever did, I, I don't know what I would do. 
You'll never have to find out. We're at the bottom of the ocean. I like to think about the first law of thermodynamics. That no energy in the universe is created and none is destroyed. And every part of us now was once a part of some other thing. A moon, a storm cloud, a mammoth. A monkey. A monkey. No, I'm not leaving you here. That's ridiculous. We need a new plan. No, we're not discussing it, okay? You're taking it. End of story. I couldn't live if you didn't. Well, I feel the same way. There has to be another way. You're taking why, it. Why would you make me do this? You're my best friend in the world. Yeah, you're more than that, Gemma. But I couldn't find the courage to tell you. So please, let me show you. That's okay. with yourself, Fitz. You're almost there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm almost there. And you know, talking to you is the only time I feel clear and calm. Like I might actually get better. You are getting better. Every day. I see it, they see it, and soon you'll see it yourself. Okay, so um, I don't have an ex, but there was this girl that I like, and I told her how I felt, but she doesn't feel the same way as I do, so she left. I still miss her. But she left and moved on. Maybe it's time you do the same. I know, but I am different, and, I, and I, I'm, I'm trying not to be, but I am. Fitz, I'm only trying to help. You left. I needed help. You gave up on me. I did no such thing. You told me you were going to go see your mum and your dad, and then you went off to, for all, for all I know, you could, something could have, you could have been killed. And because what? Because you think I'm useless. Of course I don't. That's not why I left. Well, then why? I don't want him to be anybody but himself. You sure about that? Yes. Because I heard he told you how he felt and you bailed. But from what I've seen, the only thing that makes him worse is you. Why do you think I left? All I wanted was my best friend back. Your best friend? I never thought of him as anything else. That said, I can't imagine my life without him. You're clearly far more ca cap capable than I am at this point, in a way. That's not true. You just need more time to heal. And I've had time, and I'm, and I'm not better, so you should run the lab, and I can work for you. I just can't work with you. And I think that's what's best. Um, the t 
te tectonic stress. Tectonic stress, or, yes, and the structural. Structural integrity of the tunnels, how damaged they are. And how deep they go. You lied to me. Okay, so now we're even. Could you blame me the way you were going on about Reina, that she's a, a, a plague to be eradicated? I mean, Sky is my friend, she's different. Oh, yeah, like I was your friend and then I changed. How did you handle that? You never used to be this scared, you know that? Trip died, Fitz. All because we didn't take the necessary precautions. No, it's not that. You're afraid. Because of what happened to me and Sky, how we both changed. Well, you know what the scariest change is, Gemma? It's you. How's your science experiment going? I told you, Leo, I'm only trying to help. Whatever, Gemma. I'll start packing my things. Well, I don't believe in fear. I believe in trust, and I'm shocked that you would do this. You knew this would drive me away. You may as well have packed my bags yourself. You want me to leave, don't you, Gemma? So perhaps it's best if you do. Nice work, Gemma. Thank you for packing the sandwich before I left. It was really delicious. Oh, you're quite welcome. But I just don't understand why Coulson would take Ward on a mission. It's simply too dangerous. Yeah, for Ward, maybe. I attacked him back on the Quinjet. Hunter had to pull me off him, so. Really? Yeah, yeah, lucky for him. You know, you shouldn't feel bad about Ward. I wanted to kill him, too. And I couldn't. Means we're better than him. I did try to kill him, Fitz. And I'm kicking myself that I failed. The next terrible thing he does is on me. We never really spoke about what you said to me at the bottom of the ocean. This? No. You want to talk about this now? <laughs> it means a lot to me that we're friends again. And I, um, maybe when you get back, we could. Finally, just talk about it. There's nothing to discuss, Gemma. Maybe there is. Me and you. Maybe we could eat somewhere else, you know? Somewhere nice. Oh. Good. OK. Uh, well, you, uh, you should come find me when you're finished here. And, and I'll, I'll start working on options to run by you for that. This woman you went all this trouble for, you love her, yeah? Yeah. We need to say goodbye. Gemma would want us to do that. Okay. Make sure not even a post-it note was moved, because I know how particularly you were. Just a little disorientation, attributable to oxidative stress. Okay, yeah, I'll take you back to your room. I 
can't thank you enough. Yeah, it's a nice restaurant, isn't it? Yeah, but for more than that, for finding me. What else was I going to do? After everything you've been through, why? Because I have to get back there. And I need your help to do it. Everyone always said we could read each other's minds, Fitz. So I really need you to read mine right now. I'm alive. <sighs> but I'm terribly alone and afraid. So I really need you to come and get me, okay? I know you won't give up. So I won't either. Happy birthday, Gemma. It's not the same without you here. Say hi to your parents for me and I'll see you soon. That's Fitz then. I figured. You talk about him a lot. His name is like your favorite word. I mean, that's a little bit more than a best friend. Oh, we're inseparable. <laughs> Goodbye, Fitz. I'll see you soon. We're gonna get him back. I was hoping you could... Recover the data. It's probably pointless. Yeah, no, maybe not. Just thought if you saw for you... Myself, yeah. I always felt better having you as my second pair of eyes. We drove by once when I was a girl. Some of a family holiday, and I don't know why, but I I found it so lovely. I still think about it. A place where you and I could have. What do you think we should do about it? For now. Just watch the sunrise. Even if we have to stay up all night, we'll find something, something to help us bring back. You have to stop. Excuse me? Stop! Just stop trying to do all the right things. It's too much. Are you seriously mad at me? I'm mad at myself for roping you into this. It's not fair. And I'm mad that you're so willing to help. So, as opposed to what? What do you expect? I don't know. Get angry. I cannot fathom any way out of this without hurting someone I care about. Do you think that I'm not angry? I'm sick to my stomach. I'm furious, but not you. Because we are cursed. The bloody cosmos wants us to be apart. I can't hate him. He's great. Why else would you fall for him? He did everything right. And you dove through a hole in the universe for me. <laughs> Do that. I won't. I lost you once. I can't lose you again. I'm not strong enough to live in a world that doesn't have you in it. know all about human DNA. I miss you. There it is. I miss you. I'm here. Together. We're professional and matter of fact and there's this chasm in the middle of the room of all these things of our kiss and Will's death and I... I'm sorry about that Gemma because because maybe there was another way 
and there was something else that I could have done. Will died saving me. What you did was kill a thing, a monster. You've been nothing less than extraordinary this whole time. Can we start over? Back to where we began. Sixteen and achingly shy. Two people, endlessly inquisitive, about to embark on a relationship that will change their lives, but they don't know where it will go. I'm Gemma Simmons, biochemist. Leopold Fitz. Engineering. She does I refuse to believe anything is completely inevitable. I think we're supposed to hold hands now. Maybe some things are inevitable. One of these days we'll find something out in space that's magnificent, right? Sorry. Uh, sorry. I know everything is well and starting over. I didn't mean to push too fast. Too fast? Fitz, it's been ten years. We can't waste any more time. We should consider all variables as we move forward because things are bound to get complicated. You mean once we have sex? The crux of our relationship is like the singularity in transhumanism. Our friendship is linear. It's simple, comfortable. Effortless, really. As soon as we deviate from that path... Change becomes exponential. There's a point of no return. We should stop thinking altogether. And just do. Yeah, of course. trip for two a very not you to be romantic what a cop that is ridiculous we both know that i'm the romantic one <sighs> but might not be the best time to be skipping off to the seashells i'm gonna do something with you on that island that will take your breath away what is hey why why what Snorkeling! This is the one fits. I can feel it. Well, it's, uh, it's definitely within our price range. Can one really put a dollar amount on the perfect home? Yes, one can, and we did. <sighs> then it'll be well worth it. I promise. You do know she's an android, yeah, right? Of course I know that she's an android. Because I helped out. Why do you think her dynamic reaction force is so low? Why didn't you tell me? I wanted to. Obviously, you can't tell the new director. And what with your lie detector test becoming more frequent? The polygraph is the reason. Forget I didn't the polygraph. Say anything, this isn't about the polygraph. We're supposed to share everything. I wanted to tell you, of course. I, and and I, I knew that you'd think she was fascinating. It. It's fascinating. I am not getting fired today. Hey, no, I don't to the left. I 100% bought that. Wait, what do you mean? Where is she? What situation? What have you done? He sent her off! God knows where! We were having an argument. Now she's out there alone. And I'm gone. I know what you did. Where the hell is Simmons? Because I heard you on this. Fit. Gemma? Fit. Gemma? I just want you to understand. I only want to prevent this very thing. I know you're trying to protect. To protect me. you. I know you're upset about Ada. I'm in a strange position. I don't want to intrude on you while you're processing. But I also want you to know you can talk to me. Always. Radcliffe. Ward. My dad. They're all the same. Keeps happening. I don't see it that way. 
Yes, they betrayed you. And after everything you've been through, no one would blame you if you put up your own firewall. But you didn't. Instead, you became the most open, loyal, caring person I've ever met. Maybe that's why it keeps happening. It's why I fell in love with you. Who you really are, that's not programming. It's something way beyond that. What? Help save the day. No, do that. Just don't risk your life when you're doing it. You could have been blown to bits. <sighs> We're going to save them. What if we can't? My fingerprints are all over these murder weapons. Just because someone uses your ideas for evil does not make it your fault for creating it in the first place. You make things from the genius of your mind and the goodness of your heart to help people. Don't let Radcliffe's actions corrupt that. You are not responsible for the twisted things he's done. Wrongs have been committed. Now we make them right. Together. Of course this is happening. This always happens to you, to me, to us. It's been worse for you coming true again. You don't even know. I'm not that bloody LMD. You're messing with me. It's not there. me, Gerald. Well, it's one of us. It's one of us, Fitz. <laughs> Joe, look at me. Look at me. Stop. It's me. It's me. This isn't real, Gemma. This world isn't real. He's gonna kill her. Fitz would never do that. I know him. Not as the doctor, but as a... A brilliant, awkward, heroic scientist named Leopold James Fitz. He is a good man, and I love him. I know exactly who I am. Seems you finally found me. You want to destroy this world. You want to destroy me. You want to destroy the woman that I love. That woman is lying to you. None of this is real. She's not real. Ada's just a, a robot. You and Radcliffe. Her name is Ophelia. Its name is Ada. seen me shoot that woman. Because my future with Gemma is dead. <laughs> Killed that too. You understand that my love will never fade. No, I know. Poor thing. You're romantic. And there's only room in your heart. For her. for experiments on approximately two dozen people, innocent people, people we've known from this world, Lincoln Campbell, Virginia Deer, Gordon from the afterlife. Fitz, I'm not making a report, and that wasn't really you. It was me. I can still hear the screams. But you're also this man, and we need to find a solution. Well, my solutions only make things worse. They end up hurting or killing people. Good. You guys are constantly torn apart. Cursed, as he would say. Well, I'm not afraid that he isn't here. I'm thrilled. He's no doubt working this problem, probably trying to get a message to us right now. 
better for everyone here than here. Where is Gemma Simmons? I wish I knew. I wish I knew, because as much as you want to find them and bring them to justice, I want to find them so I know that they're okay. I remember when you couldn't even admit that you liked her. <laughs> Maybe it should have stayed that way. Everything that keeps happening to us does seem like the universe doesn't want us to be together. Maybe it's trying to protect her. From what? From me. From what I was in the framework. You know, I realized something. The universe can't stop us. Because we have crossed galaxies, we have traveled through time, we have survived the bottom of the Atlantic just so we could be together. Now, a love like that, that is stronger than any curse. And you and I, we are unstoppable together. I... I don't want to live another day without you. So, Gemma Simmons, will you marry me? I'm never leaving you again. Then marry me, Fitz. Absolutely. Also, um, just to say, I did propose earlier when Kisai said you here and turned off. Oh, of course you did. I'm never leaving your side again. Yeah, I feel the same way. That's why I asked you to marry me. I, uh... Mm. There is nothing that we do that matters. This is a bloody time loop. We're doomed to fail. If we did this, do you know what I see? Proof we make it back. Fitz. I knew from the moment I saw you, from our first conversation about dielectric polarization, that You'd be in my life for a long time. But I didn't know you would be my life, my heart, my home. I can't wait for our next adventure, building a family together. My love for you grows deeper and always will, no matter where the universe takes us next. I have been thinking about what to say. Uh, just, words don't really seem enough. I think that you are perfect. And, um, I don't deserve you, Gemma. I don't, I don't deserve you. And I'm well aware that I'm the luckiest man on any planet. Can you believe that we're married, wife? <laughs> I cannot, husband. Do you think we'll ever get used to it, husband? No, I do not, wife. Hey, I was thinking, we should hyphenate our last name, yeah? Uh, yeah, of course. Mr. and Mrs. Simmons Fitz. <laughs> Sounds great. Just yeah. rolls right off the tongue. Yeah, right off. No, finish what we started. No! Fitz! We can work all of this out. We just need to let Daisy go. No. There's no turning back. Of course there is. We planned for that too. It's not an apparition. It's not some evil doppelganger. It was me. They can come to forgive you if you just explain. I don't deserve forgiveness, Gemma. Just like you don't deserve me. It's such a confusing gray area but if we are going to change the timeline we have to do things differently make harder choices i really don't know where we go from here he's my our grandson he's the worst <laughs> i think he's perfect plus 
his very existence proves that you and I make it to the lighthouse and live long enough to raise a daughter. It means you and I are invincible. I know you feel like you're battling something inside you, but I trust you. Do you trust me? Yeah. Gemma. No. Yes, Fitz. I wouldn't be doing this if the science wasn't sound. Gemma? Gemma! You sh Oh. Yeah. No trouble with the straps this time. Come a long way. We have a rule. We never leave each other's side anymore. I'm sorry you never got the honeymoon you dreamed of. Nonsense. I'm protecting England from evil robots with the man I love. You were so certain we'd be fine. Time is fixed and all that. I started having my doubts. Maybe your hopeful nature is rubbing off on me. We can't let it happen again. Don't have a choice. I'm engineering. She's biotech. We're a team. Hey. I can't choose anything over you. Not even. I feel the same way. You are proof that we are in one timeline in a loop. An infinite, intractable, unchangeable loop. Her warning was that trying to save Coulson ends the world, right? What if all we have to do is not fail? That's quite an audacious leap. Especially from someone who once believed time cannot be changed. Maybe it's time to be audacious. Now he's frozen, out in deep space somewhere. No idea he's already solved it. He'll be a little disoriented. But he'll be so happy to know that time is not fixed. It's a fluid, ever-changing, beautiful thing. Leopold Fitz should not be here. Agreed. He should be with us, back on Earth. Put Gemma Simmons in danger and Fitz can solve anything. Whatever happens, at least I'll be with Fitz. We'll have each other. Fitz? Gemma? Oh my gosh, you're here. You're here. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you and I, we are We're honest. unstoppable together. Gemma Simmons, will you marry me? Absolutely. admit, right now here with you, I don't give a damn if we ever escape. No, I don't want you to see this part. I wanted to tell you the right way. I don't need one as a ring. Had I, had I made that proposal to you before? I'm sorry. I missed my own wedding. No, you just haven't had yours yet. Listen, I know it's a I, lot, but you uh, have to. It's a miracle you survived, and can, there was a lot of death. Can, yes, but there was beauty too. I, I remember this being the night where I went from being excruciatingly uncomfortable in your presence to perfectly at ease. I remember it's the night I put you in the friend zone. I am Agent Gemma Simmons, and this, this is. This is. I am Leopold Fitz. I'm gonna hollow you out. You cause pain. Let me up! All my damage comes from you! Hello, my 
my pain comes from you. And I'm allowed to want to save you. I'll save you every time or I'll die trying. I don't care. Me too, because I love you. No, well, I love you too. Well, then why are we yelling? I don't know. I'm sorry I can't give you back the time you missed. But I can give you me. Now and forever. The whole universe couldn't keep me from you, Gemma Simmons. I am the luckiest man on any planet. This We're ship is this now ship back. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. No, you go. no, not after you. That's okay. You, go. you sure? Yeah. Okay. We are we are taking this ship back now. Looks like you married Mr. Perfect, doesn't it? Are you jealous of yourself? Yep. Yes, I am. Because he'll always be your first husband. I'm only ever going to be the replacement. You do realise how ridiculous this sounds? Yep, absolutely. The fun of your wedding, mate. Oh, it was wonderful. <laughs> it will be nothing compared to the second time. What, well, I wasn't enough the first time? <sighs> OK, just wait a moment. <sighs> you smell nice. Yeah, and you look great. By the way, younger There's something. I haven't really done the math on that. Keeps calling me Bobo. That's what you wanted to be called. And most of the mice survived. I, but, but, with all three of us, maybe we can get it working better. Fine, fine, indeed. What a choice do we have, right? course of your lives forever. Yeah, that again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fitz said he tried to send me a message, but I'm not entirely sure how to find it. You must be worried about him. He's safe, but I do miss him. Well, that's not exactly your first go at being separated by space and time. Practice makes perfect, I suppose. Are you gonna try to reach out to him? Never. We have to assume the Chronicoms are listening. You cannot Imagine how impossible it was to track the Chronicoms through time. But Fitz and I found a place where all their moves could be observed. And to guide us, Fitz stayed there. He is completely exposed and they will kill him if they find him so no one can know his location. Could just take some time to live. Fitz. Oh, we built a nice home for ourselves here. Could just push that up. Live. Together. No mission, no end of the world. We could just be. But I'll feel the guilt inside, the guilt for having left a part of me being torn away. I don't want to forget. 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 It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. I don't want to forget. 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 Fitz? Who's Fitz? I was married. Gemma, I, I was going to tell your friends a story and I was wondering if you could help me fill in some of the blanks. When you were younger, you had scoliosis, yeah? And you, you would spend your nights lying on your back with your father. Looking up at the stars. And do you remember what your favourite star was? Thetis Aventis. What was the traditional name of it, the, the biggest star in that system? Alia. That we had our happily ever after. We knew our friends needed us, not to mention mankind. But we didn't want to say goodbye. So we put it off. But we couldn't stay forever. 
but I'll feel the guilt inside. The guilt for having left. A part of me being torn away. No, I don't want to forget. I don't want to forget. Gemma, for us, it will be an instant. Stay strong. Fitz. Yeah. <laughs> Gemma. But why though? Why, why? Why would we stay so long? I can't follow that logic. Why? Why would we do any of it? I think I remember why we did all this. For Alia, Mama, Long. Felt like forever to me. It was a loud noise. I know. I was only a little scared. <laughs>